In part, it does, because again, it's just you know making sure that um, the stories of black people are told in the world, you know? And so, be, because as I said, I, I find that in the West in particular, well, all over the world actually, because I mean, I, I engaged China and India, you know, and Australia and New Zealand, and what, what you, the, somehow there is, there is a, 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 a structure that came out of America and Europe in particular that kind of defines academics, certainly. You know, the university space um, is defined more by Europe than anything else, you know? So, but, and as I said, what generally tends to happen, and I'm working in the contemporary space, I'm not going back in, in the past, even though sometimes I do that. I have, you know, Nigerian government is a client of mine, and we're looking at what's going on with the art of Benin that the Europeans have and they need to return it. And some of them have agreed, like the French people have agreed to return that stuff, right? So that's a good thing. Um, but my thing is just adding to the mix. And since there are not a lot of black males that are interested in art, my perspective is welcome to some degree. Right now it's easier for me to, the thing I just did, Roots of the Spirit, uh, the director was like, oh, we got to work with you. Do you know what I mean? Because he also wants to be able to make a change in that space. And the way I work is really to engage all of our community. You know, we want to have people just open up a little bit, you know, instead of just thinking that art's all about um, Eurocentric art. Let's look at what other people have done. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs>